So out of nowhere today, Bungie has decided to drop on us a brand new exotic scout rifle, Dead Man's Tale. Fellas, I grew up reading Louis Lemoore books. I loved Lonesome Duff. I think deep down in my heart, I wanted to be a cowboy. And if last word has ever spoken to you on a spiritual level, I can promise you Dead Man's Tale is gonna do that for you as well. Now down below will be some timestamps because there are some people that just wanna know how to get this exotic. But I do understand there are some people that just wanna watch a review to see if this exotic is even worth it. So again, feel free to check out those timestamps. First up, let's talk about how to get Dead Man's Tale, or at least how to begin the quest. Currently right now, Arms Dealer is the Nightfall Ordeal. If you load up into the Nightfall, that first initial room, which has a number of ads in it, will be directly in front of you. You'll have some champions and whatnot. Go ahead and clear out this entire room. But instead of progressing to the next area, as if you're doing Arms Dealer, actually sit tight because a door to the right will open. You'll miss it if you aren't looking. This door will actually lead to a whole nother area of the strike that will involve a bunch of turrets that you got to kill. But upon getting past these turrets, you'll be faced with Ben Grot. I think that's how we say his name. I don't even know. But he is a loyalist to Katie. And upon killing him, you'll be able to inspect something here at the end of these platforms inside of this crate, which essentially gives you the next step to go to Zavala. Now, upon going to Zavala, a mission on the Tangle Shore will unlock called Presage. You remember in the trailer where Cyrus is like, yo, there's no light out here, Guardian? You you know, that creepy Leviathan looking ship. Bam, that's that ship. Essentially a distress call has been put out by another guardian and you're gonna go rescue him. Long story short though, I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but at the end of this quest, you'll essentially be able to obtain the exotic scout rifle. The quest is actually pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Nothing too mechanic heavy. There is like these spores that you're gonna have to stand on and shoot, which will coat you with this aura to allow you to run through these barriers inside of this ship. Now let's talk about the exotic itself. Upon getting it, you will get the base form of Dead Man's Tail, meaning it will have a question mark in its trait, which means, yep, this weapon comes with random rolls. Now, the exotic perk found on this weapon is called Cranial Spike. Chaining precision hits grants bonus damage and quickens reload speed. It also comes with a number of barrel perks, magazine perks, as well as different traits to choose from. For PvP players, I would definitely suggest either Snapshot, Moving Target, or Killing Wind. And for PvE players, Vorpal is really good. Four times the charm is also really good, which synergizes really well there with Cranial Spike and, of course, Outlaw. Now, whether intentional or not, upon completing the Presage quest, if we redid it again, Dead Man's Tail would drop all over again, but with a random roll. I got this roll right here with Vorpal and some different barrel perks and mag perks. Let's got four times the charm. Long story short, we thought we were going to be able to farm this weapon over and over again for random rolls. It doesn't appear so. At least from our experience, after unlocking the scout rifle, you can only get one random roll of Dead Man's Tail per week, as in only one roll per account instead of one roll per character. Needless to say, Hawkman was a little more forgiving as it allowed us to kind of farm it better dead man's tail not so much now the weapon also comes with an exotic catalyst which is really interesting we have not figured out how to unlock it we're under the assumption that there will be a master version of this exotic quest which is where we're going to actually get this exotic catalyst which comes with the perk dark forge trigger this increases the hip fire rate of the scout rifle and removes hip fire accuracy penalties and you'll notice immediately when you shoot from the hip this weapon has some crazy bloom i'm talking like dmr hey Halo reach levels of bloom. Same exact thing here, but the exotic catalyst should be able to combat that. On top of that, it increases the rate of fire. Now, to what extent? I have no idea. If it turned into a 180, hell yeah. If it turned into a 200, oh my God. If it turns it into a 260 round per minute hip firing machine, hell yes, Bungie. And you'll be pleasantly surprised that the hip fire accuracy is actually pretty good, even in its bloomy form. Now, breaking down the traits, cranial spike actually can stack up and cap out at cranial spike times five. You've probably noticed this is the first 120 round per minute scout rifle ever introduced to us. Yes, that's right. It's never been a thing. Now, I was under the assumption it was going to hit the same damage values as, say, like a 120 round per minute hand cannon. No, it's not. It hits less. These are actually the damage values. It actually starts off at 84 damage per crit and amps up to 87, to 91, 94, and then it appears to cap out at 97. Now, I'm going to be straight with you. I've sat down and I've watched a lot of my own Crucible gameplay, and the number numbers just seem to be bucked. It's like if you shoot too fast, some of the damage numbers sometimes skip. Like sometimes it goes from 84 to 91. And then sometimes it's not even 84 on the first shot, but like 81. I'm not for certain why the damage values here are buggy, but it appears to happen when I was trying to like max out its rate of fire. Regardless though, my experience inside of PvP, it appears
appears to be capped out at 97 at cranial spike times five. And essentially you gain a stack every precision hit. Now 97, it's not bad, especially on a scout rifle. It essentially allows this scout to kill guardians in just two crits. We're talking 0.5 seconds, two crits, pound town. And again, if you're not taking advantage of cranial, no worries. There are multiple ways to elevate your weapons damage to get that two tap potential. Whether it's sun warrior, whether it's inertia override, whether it's charged with light mods or empowering rifts, there is a variety of ways to increase your damage here to allow dead man to easily two tap. And once this weapon gets going, once it starts to get those cranial stacks, it gets deadlier and deadlier. On top of that, I don't know what your favorite scout rifle is in the game. Dead man feels so good. It's actually unreal how good this exotic feels. I've got a lot of favorite exotic scout rifles. Jade Rabbit's my baby. Polaris Lance, been the king of scout rifles for so very long. Dead Man's Tail, hands down, my favorite scout rifle in the game. Both in its lethality and just purely stylistically. Like, look at this. Look at this weapon. It even makes a nice noise when you reach five stacks of cranial. And thinking about the hip fire, it's going to pair so well with those old school westerns, right? Like that guy coming around the corner with that Remington, just popping off hip fire shots. Hell yes, man. I love it. On top of that, the forgiveness that cranial offers by essentially refreshing every time you land a precision shot, you have four and a half seconds to land the next precision shot. So it's not overly difficult to chain precision hits as long as you have enemies in front of you. Now, looking at PVE, this weapon's really, really nice as the base version of this, and this is actually my Vorpal Roll, starts off at 6,010 and amps up all the way to 8,383. This is actually a 40% increase in damage. Matter of fact, if you actually compare it to itself, this in combination with Vorpal increases the damage by 60%. Not bad, huh? I will say though, if you are running Vorpal on this weapon, hands down, take advantage of Scout Rifle Loader. Anything that can possibly help you with that reload speed, because this weapon is really cool, but it loads two rounds at a time. So Vorpal is nice for, say, burst damage with a Scout Rifle, but part of me is kind of leaning more toward four times the charm, simply because I can chain precision hits, hang on to those five stacks of cranio, and have four times the charm auto reloading the weapon by two. Now, the difference between PvP and PvE is it doesn't appear that the damage gets capped out inside of PvE. The damage just appeared to be capped out, at least visually, was capped out inside of PvP at 97 per crit. But again, the numbers are being kind of funky. As far as the best random rolls, though, for Crucible, everything you're seeing here in front of you is nowhere near the God Road version of Dead Man's Tail. Hands down, this scout rifle is going to be disgusting when you combine it with the right roll. We're talking ricochet rounds or high caliber rounds with moving target, snapshot, or killing wind. Maybe you want to overcompensate for more stability, but I will say the weapon all on its own, and yes, there is some controller gameplay in today's gameplay. The weapon feels phenomenal. Even though the stability stat is only 37, the weapon was still so consistent. Again, this is going to become your favorite scout rifle in the game inside of PvP. But when you start combining it with the right traits, snapshot, moving target, killing win, with whatever mag trait and barrel perk you want, you're going to have a lot of success with this scout. And I can only imagine what the exotic catalyst is going to do on this weapon. Now, there's going to be some people asking, why use this exotic over a 150 round per minute scout? 150s have a 0.8 second time to kill value. This weapon, unless it's two tapping, has only a one second TTK value. My answer to that is, well, if you like style, hands down, Dead Man's the winner. But even outside of that, despite me being on multiple maps today that were not necessarily scout rifle friendly, Dead Man still handled itself well. It is going to be very dependent on its catalyst, what that's going to do for it in its hip fire form. Is that really going to make a big difference? But where this weapon loses in its time to kill values, at least when it's forced to three tap, it completely makes up for it in consistency. Whether it's due to the perks or the scout rifle buff that came to target acquisition, I don't know. I really just think it's because Dead Man's Tail has just crazy hitboxes. I mean, it's on the same level as like No Land Beyond. And for my Destiny 1 players that remember No Land Beyond, you could shoot a man in the armpit and somehow it's a crit. Hell, you could hit him in the gut and it was still a crit. Very similar concept with Dead Man's Tail. But even beyond that, the consistency in between shots. There's a lot of weapons that I constantly have to fight to maintain consistency. But Dead Man's Tail almost feels like it has some sort of weird built-in target acquisition even beyond what's available on our current scout rifles. It's just 
just that consistent. So again, don't be distraught over the fact that this weapon does have a base 1.0 time to kill value. I will say some other benefits about it is his ability to two crit one body. 150s can't do that. So yeah, there are other scout rifles that have better time to kill values. And there are other weapons that have better time to kill values. But Dead Man makes up for it in its forgiveness and its ease of use. Hands down, guys, this is going to become one of the best weapons inside of Crucible. And if Bungie ever gives us some bigger maps, man, I'm going on three years now. Ask it for bigger maps. For the love of God, Bungie, give it to us. But even in shorter to mid-range maps, even in its most base form, I have been nothing but impressed with Dead Man's Dell. So guys, get it for yourself. For my solo players, I had a number of people coming into the chat saying that they were completing the quest solo. So it seems like you can do it solo as well. But if you are looking for a fire team, again, we have an open discord, a very good community of people that are all just trying to get some sexy loot, man. So feel free to come by. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right. Thank you.